guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a straight to curly routine. So this is I think just over four weeks here and it was going good. It was going well. Everything was fine. And then I went chest setting yesterday and my hair got wet. So it just looks totally trashy now. I have been doing a lot of cardio as well. So my roots are really reverted already <laughs> and especially the back of my hair as well it's been overdue since i need to wash my hair so i'm gonna do it today so in this video i'm just gonna be wetting my hair and applying some conditioner as a pre-poo just see what state or condition my hair is after it's been straight for four weeks so yeah let's get started <laughs> The roots weren't too bad at all. This is four weeks, guys, and there's not much flakes at all. My hair's not been itching either. Um, what did I use? I used the blue Care Care shampoo this time around and a shampoo bar as well. So I don't know which one gave me these results, but my hair's literally not been itching at all. So yeah, I'm just gonna part off my hair into two. And I'm just gonna start wetting my hair with some water. This is water and a little bit of deep this is water and a little bit of leave-in. <laughs> this is water and a little bit of conditioner. In fact, I'm gonna work in sections because I don't want my hair to be too knotty when I start spraying it. All right, so let's start with this back section. Looking hella fluffy. <laughs> Here we go. Spray my face. So after straightening my hair, I like to make sure that it's provided with lots of nourishment because the heat and a lot of manipulation does break the hair bonds down, which makes it more prone to breakage or even split ends. So you want to make sure to be extra kind to your hair after you straighten it. Looking good so far. So it's pretty wet and it's starting to drip now. So I'm just going to apply some conditioner now just to help the curls come along. Actually, there you go. It's soaked it in now. Lots of volume at the roots because I have lost a lot of hair. I will talk about it in another video. But yeah, I did trim my hair so it's looking, the shape is looking a lot better though. Yeah, so I've got the Afrocentrics 99% Natural Origin Swirl for Afro and Curly Hair Silicone Free Conditioner. This is enriched with avocado oil to nourish and revitalize hair. So that sounds like it's perfect for a Pre poo. How do you open this thing now? Don't have to open it. It's jarring. Damn it. It's nice and thick, actually. Really nice. It's got a natural scent to it. Um, doesn't smell artificial. Not too strong either. Wow, that went right into my hair. <laughs> wow, okay. Soaked it all up. So the products I'm using today are from a treasure chest subscription box. This conditioner was super creamy, as I said, and it provided a lot of slip for easy detangling. My hair was left feeling super soft and nourished, and my hair responded really well to it. As you can see in the ingredients, there are some unfavorable ingredients according to the Ingredients Buy website. Most of these are potential irritants, so those who have sensitive skin or eczema should be cautious when using this. Around four of them are preservatives from what I can see, but it doesn't have any of the bad ingredients that are on my radar. You know, the ones I look out for when I view a product. So that's all good. Next, I'm gonna take the olive oil and put that on top. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so it's a clear liquid. No scent to it, really. This super dry cast and sheer softening olive oil is pretty clean ingredient wise. It has five ingredients, three of them are oils, one of them is vitamin E, and the last ingredient is citric acid, which is probably used as a preservative. Apply a little bit more to the ends, just cause those would have got really dry during the straightening process as well. This oil is pretty good. I haven't used it again because I do have my own oil mixture that I use, but I do like it and it's a pretty clean product. Curls are looking good. Mm. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna twist it up so it doesn't dry out. Oil. Um, yeah. 
And I wouldn't suggest to revert your curls this way because it just has anxiety written all over it. So just jump in the shower or hang your head in the tub, whatever way you wash your hair, because it's gonna need a lot of water, especially if you are low porosity. I used pretty much the whole bottle in this video and it just took forever. So don't bother doing it this way. <laughs> This is the section that worries me the most. It's like this part of my hair, because I already know it's loose in texture already. So I think it would be hard for me to know the difference whether it's the free C hair or heat damage. But yeah, as you can see, all the curls are back. I'm not worried at all now. So yeah, I'm just gonna twist this up as well. I really like this conditioner. I really do like this. It feels so buttery in the hair. Like it almost feels like a leave-in conditioner. I'm never gonna be doing this out of the shower ever again. This, this, this is just literally purely for video purposes, but this is long. This is long. <laughs> Honestly guys, I can't wait to have my own little office. I just need my own area, my own space. Just have everything out, all my equipment out, just ready for me to go, but yeah. That reverted quite quickly actually, that side. My hair is very, very porous though. The amount of water that I put in, it just drinks it up. It's looking good. Let's add some conditioner. It's beautiful conditioner. Look at it. It's so creamy. Soaks it all up. Looking good. Let's add some of the oil. Put the lid on afterwards. So the front part of my hair takes a longer time to revert. So I do feel like the front of my hair is a different porosity. Well, I mean, I already know that, but it kind of clarifies that for me now. For sure, like, complete different look. It actually just gets stringy with it, though. Like. This is what it's looking like, this front section. All curly, no heat damage. That's what we like. That's what we like. Add some oil, put it on. Quite happy to have my curls back actually. Straight hair was getting annoying. And that's what I love about being versatile. Like all these straight naturals going straight these days. They're gonna be missing their curls and their curls are gonna be damaged as a but yeah, let's take down all the hair, see what it's looking like. It's actually looking a little bit fuller with that haircut. And I was thinking maybe I just need a haircut. <laughs> Some places were just a little bit longer. Definitely like in the front section because this is a looser curl pattern at the front. So it would hang. It would hang longer in the front and then the back would hang higher. So yeah, it's looking a bit more uniform now. And it's looking a little bit thicker as well. Or maybe I'm just being pretentious. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. All the hair done. All the hair done. All the hair done. All the hair. They're back and they're back for summer all summer long <laughs> no more straightening until september but yeah that's the end of my curly to straight no that's the end of my straight to curly routine as you can see no heat damage whatsoever and the curls are popping and the trim is looking great it's looking very nice and healthy actually i'm not even deep conditioning it yet <laughs> oops hair in the eye so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this straight to curly routine. If you did, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content for myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.